It is no news that people gain more calories during festivities. The season to be merry, hang out with family and friends, eat lots of junk food and freezy drinks. Research shows that most people tend to break all the weight loss and healthy eating rules during the holidays. Bomi is a weight loss consultant. She sheds more light on why people add weight during festivities. People don't know, but you, you gain an average of between 3 and 7 kg during the festive period. So Christmas time, most people gain between 3 and 7 kg. That's a lot. It's a time of happiness, sharing joy with your family. There's parties, there's, you know, you're hanging out with this friend. People come back from abroad, you know, let's go have drinks. So it's, it's a time of celebration. Bumi explains that after excess eating during the holiday and festive season, reality sets in. And it's usually a big task to share those extra weights gained. And then weight loss journey becomes necessary. Most people, they go on starvation. So they start skipping meals. They, or they decide that, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm just going to eat just fruits. Or I'm going to do, a, mostly it's a fat diet. And that doesn't help because you're not training yourself to live a sustainable lifestyle. So the first thing I'll say is think long term. Don't think short term. Exercise is as important as dieting and one does not necessarily need to go to the gym to work out. Even if you can't go to the gym, think of something that you enjoy doing. I love running, I love uh, walking, I love skipping, I love dancing. Or you should just put on some music. A lot of people love Nigerian music. Put on some Nigerian music and if you have kids, you know, make it as an activity for everyone. You call them out and you all start dancing, you know, do a dance routine. If it's that you like yoga, find out if they have yoga classes that are running. If you work, you know, in the morning or at, in the evening, just engage. So when people think about workouts, ah, I can't go to the gym. It's not about gym. It's about doing whatever you enjoy doing as long as you move. Keep your heart rate moving. That's it. A Billy is married with two kids. She always loves to look good and she is particular about her weight. She does her daily exercise when she wakes up in the morning and also drinks detox water, a combination of cucumber and lemon. Sincerely, I don't love detox water. Okay. Yes, but because I understand its importance and benefits, I do take it. And there are various combinations of detox water, which I do. I have the ginger and lemon combination. Then there's the ginger, lemon and mint combination. Then I also have the um, cucumber lemon combination. So, but the lemon is very important from experts. Detoxing is just removing the toxins from your system. Every now and then, you actually need to detox your body because your body is doing a lot of stuff. You know, your internal organs are always working, and sometimes it's good to let it rest. So, detox. As it, also, it, 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 it detoxifies your body, it removes the toxins, but it also speeds up your metabolism. Another thing that it does, it gives your organs a rest. People think that, oh, I can eat whatever I want to eat and then drink that and I'm, and I'm fine. But no, you know, all that does is that just really is just hydration and it cleans out your system. So you would just, you would pee or you would poop, basically. But it doesn't burn fat. Regardless of knowledge of the rules and tips guiding weight loss, a Billy, like many people, decided to play ignorance during the festive season and now she has some extra weight to battle. I spent Christmas with my family, like my extended family, which included my siblings and their family, and I was basically in the kitchen all through, <laughs> so there was no way I could run from food. I ate all the things I shouldn't eat, you know, so, but having it at the back of my mind that January will be beast mode activated, so we just have to burn as much as we can, but there was really nothing anyone could do about it, it was holiday, just merry eat and, you know, so that was it. Weight reduction efforts could be tricky sometimes. Ibele started her weight loss journey a year ago and was consistent for a while before she realized she was gaining some weight again. Someone introduced me to a group which I joined. It was a support group on WhatsApp. So we had diet plans and workout plans which we do every day, 
we, we, we work out every day except weekends. There were a lot of things we didn't have to eat. Rice, pasta, and a lot of other simple carbohydrates were cut out of the plan. So we started. The first one month, <laughs> I lost only one kg. <laughs> and this had to, <laughs> you know, it was very demoralizing. This is a common occurrence with many people. People say weight loss is 80% diet, 20% uh, exercise. And people say it's 50% diet, it's 30% exercise, 20% detoxifying. Some people say 20%, this, 30%, that. I say 100% everything. You go 100%. If you want to lose weight, if you want to keep fit and, and live a healthy life, you have to do 100%. 100% with your diet, 100% with your exercise. So I don't like to, to give, it, give it a number. I say give it your best shot. Because you say, well, well, I ate kind of well today, so I don't need to exercise. Or I exercised uh, today, so I can eat a little bit bad. You know, no. I'll say give it 100%. If you're going to be good, be good. All the way. Visiting the gym regularly in a bid to lose weight could be more cumbersome for many. Ibele understands the fact that one does not have to register in a gym to lose weight. Exercise routine done at home can be effective too. Really, you don't have to go to the gym. Then some of the workouts I do here, I skip. I skip a lot then. Jumping jacks, we have the squat jacks, the planks. Then we do sit-ups and other forms of um, ab crunches, lunges and squats, basically. Just things you can do with limited spaces. That's what I do. Now the festivities are over and reality has set in. Ibele is determined to start her weight loss journey over again and she definitely knows how to go about it. Well, um, for January, I've decided to do a skipping challenge which would involve me doing 2,000 skips every day. That's a lot. But normally, I do as much as 1,000 to 1,500. So, but this January, I'm just going to do 2,000 skips every day. No other workouts, just the skips. Then I would work on my diets, focus more on controlling my portions, really. I may not cut out most of the meals, but portion control. Water has a role to play in weight management too. You cannot leave water out of a healthy diet and a weight loss regimen. When you listen to the experts, you know that you can't avoid drinking water when you want to lose weight. So every day I try to take at least 2.5 liters at least. So it ranges from 2.5 to 3.5 liters every day. So what it does is it actually keeps you full because sometimes what your body needs really is water, but you think you want to eat. So you find yourself snacking on things you shouldn't snack. So I have a bottle on my table at the office every day filled with water. Once I exhaust that, I go take another one. So I drink water as often as I can. Now, water also increases your metabolism. People don't know that. It actually does. So you may wake up in the morning and you drink a glass of water. It increases your metabolism by 30%. So it's really, really important throughout the day as well, as well, as well as it keeps you hydrated, just keeps the metabolism going. You know, it's kind of like, I don't want to call it a fuel, but let's say for, this, for the sake of this, let's call it a fuel, you know, for your body. Weight loss won't be fully discussed without the timing of the three major meals of the day, which are breakfast, lunch and dinner, and of course, snacking. I could go the whole day not eating, really, which is wrong. Because for you to lose weight, you need to eat to lose weight. But weekdays, I find myself hungry as soon as I step into the office. So I want to have my breakfast between 7.30 and 8.30. The lunch option would be maybe sweet potato and, you know, stew made with moderate oil and chicken. Or you can have um, couscous and fish. Or you can have, you know, a local efori roll moderate with the oil and a fist size size of your fist of swallow so you don't have to starve yourself you just have to eat in portions and be moderate everything in moderation and then a dinner option that is fantastic because you want you want to keep the dinner light pepper soup or a bowl of fruits if you have gained extra pounds 
Losing weight can reduce your risk of some potentially serious health problems. Most people who need to lose weight can get health benefits from losing even a small amount, about 5% of their weight, if they keep it up. Once you decide to lose weight, stay focused and move ahead in your journey of weight loss with dedication.